Genius is a term we typically use to describe individuals with exceptional intellectual capabilities, which aren't necessarily limited to traditional measures of intelligence. In other words, someone doesn't have to excel in every field to be considered a genius. They might be a genius in art, mathematics, or have a remarkable combination of skills. That's why many of us dream of achieving genius status in our chosen field someday. Now what if I told you that it's possible, at least for one day? Hello and welcome to a new video. But before we start, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can receive our videos right away. In the year 1994, in a quiet lakeside village in upstate New York, Dr. Tony Chi Coria was invited to a family gathering, looking out over a small lake. Unfortunately, his mother couldn't make it to the event due to unknown circumstances. Concerned, Tony decided to walk to the nearest phone booth to check on her well-being. This was a time before mobile phones were widespread, mind you. As he set out on his journey, the weather was rather unpredictable. What began with light winds suddenly transformed into raging torrents and thunderstorms. But even with the world falling apart around him, Tony chose to push forward to the phone booth. After he reached the phone and successfully reassured his mother, he decided to head back. However, this is where the story takes a dramatic turn. Half a meter away from the phone booth, a powerful lightning bolt struck. All Tony experienced at that moment was an extremely loud explosion, and a blinding white light emitted from the booth that struck him directly in the face. Before he could even comprehend what was happening, he found himself thrown a great distance away, and the world went pitch black. His family started to worry when they noticed he was taking longer than expected. They went out searching for him, and when they finally found him, he was lying on the ground, unconscious and with memory loss. Despite their efforts and the comprehensive medical examination, he remained amnesic for about two weeks, and his mental state was unstable. Eventually, he started to regain his memory and return to work. However, there was something remarkable and unexpected about Tony. It turned out that Tony, a bone surgeon by profession, had developed a profound passion for music, specifically piano music. Before the incident, he had shown no particular interest in the piano, but afterward, he claimed that he must have loved it all along but had forgotten. What astounded everyone, including Tony himself, was that one day he fell asleep and dreamt of playing a piece of piano music he had never heard before in his life. When he woke up, he went to a piano and tried to play it with his limited knowledge. Astonishingly, he succeeded in playing the piece flawlessly. He discovered that he could memorize any piece of music after hearing it once and play it without ever forgetting it. This was an extraordinary ability even among professional musicians. But what caused Tony's transformation after the accident? Let's take a look at another story, that of Jason Paget, a young man who experienced something most of us have only seen in movies. Jason used to live a reckless life full of partying and recklessness. He didn't care much about his education until one fateful night, Friday the 13th of September, 2002. Jason and his friends were leaving a gathering when they were confronted by two criminals who attempted to rob them. Jason decided to resist, but the criminals viciously attacked him. Jason was beaten severely, taking several blows to the head and losing consciousness. When he awoke, he found himself in the hospital, surrounded by people who told him that he had suffered a kidney injury and a severe concussion. After a period of medical care, he recovered and returned home. However, he was not the same Jason. Gone was the carefree and reckless person. He had turned into an organized and meticulous individual. He was now extremely concerned about hygiene, to the point where he would wash his hands 16 times before using them and cover windows with fabric to prevent any microbes from entering. His appearance and style also underwent a drastic change. He transformed from an irresponsible young man into a well-mannered and dignified person. But the most peculiar aspect of Jason's transformation was yet to come. What's even more bizarre is that he started to see things around him in a completely different way than an ordinary person. For example, he would describe that when he looked at a TV screen, he saw the images in the form of small cubes that would assemble themselves to form the picture. He even saw running water coming out of a faucet as if they were moving crystals. This peculiar phenomenon happened with everything he observed. Strangely enough, 
he developed a strong interest in mathematics and calculations, subjects he previously dismissed as having no relevance to life. Even more astonishing was his ability to solve extremely complex mathematical operations with ease, even though he had not excelled in math before the incident. He felt as if he possessed a unique advantage, as if he had the keys to the universe. He was drawn to create intricate geometric drawings known as fractals, and what's even more remarkable is that he drew these intricate fractals by hand. As it's clear, Jason was no longer the same person he used to be. His family decided to have him undergo an MRI scan to understand what had happened to him. The results showed that due to the incident, specific areas of his brain were damaged, which led to other parts of his brain becoming hyperactive as they tried to compensate for the damage. This condition resulted in Jason developing an extremely rare syndrome known as Savant Syndrome. This is the same syndrome that affected our earlier individual, Tony. Savant Syndrome, or as it is often called, the Syndrome of the Gifted, is an extremely rare condition that occurs when a person, typically with a neurodevelopmental disorder or after a severe brain injury, develops extraordinary abilities or skills in specific areas. These newfound abilities are usually linked to the parts of the brain that have become hyperactive as a compensatory response to the damaged regions, and they are often related to skills and hobbies. The transformation of Tony and Jason's lives shows how the human brain can react to severe incidents, causing parts of it to adapt and unlock unique talents that are usually beyond the reach of an average individual. These rare cases provide us with insights into the limitless capabilities of the human brain. The fascinating aspect is that it's not always the same parts of the brain that are affected among those who develop savant syndrome. Instead, it's the parts that become hyperactive. This leads to different individuals developing extraordinary abilities or talents in various areas. Some may become geniuses in art and can create incredibly complex drawings. Others may become musical prodigies proficient in playing multiple instruments, or excel in solving intricate mathematical problems. Therefore, an incident like this is not something one can intentionally pursue. There's no way one can damage their brain deliberately and say, I want to be a genius. It's worth noting that savant syndrome doesn't always result from sudden accidents. Some cases are congenital, as mentioned in this episode. People with congenital savant syndrome are born with it or develop it during their growth stages, Unfortunately, many individuals with this congenital form also have neurological issues or central nervous system disorders, with a significant portion of them being on the autism spectrum. However, it doesn't necessarily mean that everyone with autism has savant syndrome. Statistics indicate that less than 10% of individuals with autism also exhibit the characteristics of savant syndrome. Now, let's talk about one of the most famous savant syndrome cases in the world— we can't mention Savant Syndrome without discussing Kim Peek, who was born in 1951. Kim had an unusually large brain, and his health was unstable. He faced significant developmental delays, including walking difficulties and speech problems. He had a hard time interacting with people around him. The astounding part was Kim's memory. He had an extraordinary memory, and seemed to remember almost everything he came across. To the extent that he's said to have read 12,000 books over the course of his life, memorizing all of them. This made him an expert in more than 15 different fields, including geography, history, literature, mathematics, music, and more. People around him began to treat him as their go-to source for information on various topics. Among Kim's incredible abilities was his capability to read two pages of a book at the same time, one with his right eye and the other with his left eye. Even more astonishing was his ability to comprehend the content on both pages simultaneously. Additionally, Kim had a remarkable skill of knowing the address of any of his neighbors just by hearing their names, thanks to his memorization of the phone directory. Kim Peek's story is a testament to the remarkable and sometimes unexpected capabilities that can arise in individuals with Savant Syndrome. That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button.